Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Cameron Stewart calling in here from the mobile office here. Uh, the Ford Ranger sitting on the side of the road on the way to, to uh, Pukekohe for a, for a meeting. Um, but I just wanted to get on here and to share. I, I watched a uh, video earlier on <clears throat> earlier on uh, today, and it was uh, it was an Australian uh, video. It was an Australian news video, and it, they were talking about um, a lot of young people between the age of 24 to uh, 34 years of age um, uh, having a so-called mid-life crisis. Um, at a very young age, and <clears throat> I suppose I just wanted to get on here and share my my thoughts and my opinion on the matter. As I said, um, my name's Cameron Stewart. For those of you who don't know me, but um, midlife crisis between the age of 24 to 34 that's a bit concerning. Um, that people or young people are thinking along these lines. Um, I know from my own experience, having I sit down in front of a lot of people. Uh, on, on average, somewhere between 30 to 50 people a month, I sit down in front of people. Uh, you know, a lot of people that are coming out of university, a lot of people that are um, still in university, um, and a lot of people that have just finished and out there trying to find a job. And I think the, the biggest issue that we're having in today's society is we've got um, such a high level of people in the education system, um, and I think it's overrun. I think we have we have too many over-educated people in society today um, and are not enough people actually really uh, out there willing to roll up their sleeves and actually have a go and, and get things done. So what's going to solve this problem? What's going to solve the problem of being discontent? Um, you know, you look at what's happening uh, with house price inflation, you look at what's happening with the cost of living, uh, the cost of rent, um, the cost of petrol, the, the cost of buying a car, the cost of registrations, the cost of clothing, all of this stuff is just draining our wallets or draining our income and it's not, you know, and especially I feel sorry for the people that, the young age group from 18 through to say 35 that have gone through and been promised the world by getting a, a, an education at university and they're coming out and they can't get a job, they can't actually generate an income that's actually enough to supply the needs for themselves and their family. And that's really, really concerning that at this time, at, at this stage in life, that people are discontent. You know, when you're in your mid 20s, you know, from 18 to 35, you should be excited about life, you should be you know, really focused on where you're going, you should be happy, you should be content, but we don't have that in today's world, we, we have a lot of um, a lot of people that are down and out in life, a lot of anxiousness, a lot of depression, um, a, a, a lot of drug and alcohol abuse and all this other stuff, and the reason for that is people don't have any direction and they don't think they can actually achieve their goals and dreams, because you think about this guys and girls, when, we, when we're a little kid or when we're really young, we come out of um, school, we're going to go and paint the town red, we're going to go and do this, we're going to go and do that, and then what happens is we start to, um, you know, our dreams and goals start to become suppressed, and this is where this whole midlife thing is, is coming um, in, into the media, and what I'm noticing more and more in today's world is is the coverage of, um, it's starting to come more and more into the media about the stuff being discontent, people being discontent in life, not having the ability to, um, you know, pay their bills or have enough to live or, um, you know, do their hobbies or whatever the case may be. And what's going to fill the gap here? Look, obviously I'm a, an investor and an entrepreneur um, and I think, you know, people have got to be, I think the only way forward for people and I think with, if you see what's happening in society today, the only way forward for people is it used to be like a um, an option that you could go and start a business part time alongside your work, or uh, it used to be, uh, and it still is that today. It's an option, but I think in society it's going to get to a point one one of these days where you are going to have to, not by choice because of necessity, have another business outside of your job or do something else outside of your bod, uh, outside of your uh, job to generate another income. Um, and I think over the years, a lot of people have flagged that off because we've been able to manage and get things by, get by, but in today's world, it's a necessity to have other income streams outside of a primary job or whatever the case may be because it's just not cutting it anymore. You know, in Auckland, 
if you had a joint um, income, let's say you know you got two uh, two people, a couple, seventy thousand dollars each uh, 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 per annum. You know, you take off they say thirty thousand dollars for tax. You take off say twenty to twenty five thousand dollars for rent or a mortgage. You take off say fifteen to twenty thousand dollars off for vehicles. Uh, uh, or running costs, uh, you've got phones, you've got insurance, you've got rates, you've got clothing, you've got hobbies, you've got all this stuff. And uh, most people with, in that level of income, joint income, would only have you know a surplus of around 200 bucks a week. Now that's extremely disturbing, considering that $140,000, by the way, that's a gross income, so by the time you take your tax off, it's only around 110000 a year. So it's not a huge amount of money, it's around $55,000 net, and by the time we take all of those expenses off, there's not much left over in the tank. So what's going to fill the gap? I believe there is many, many options for the people that watch my videos and watch the stuff. There's so many things that you can do to get yourself out of that rut. But most people are caught in the masses. They're caught up in what society tells them is right or wrong. We're over-educated, I believe. This is my opinion. We're over-educated and we don't have enough doers out there actually doing whatever it takes to get a result in life. And, you know, all I can say is watching that video today really just imprints in what I've been doing for the last six years or the last ten years in business, investing, all this other stuff, is you need to do something alongside what you're doing right now. Otherwise, you're going to get left behind. One day, when and now, in my age bracket, sort of 33 and below, I don't think there'll be a pension when we retire. So you need to invest your money correctly. You need to. Uh, that's not just KiwiSaver. KiwiSaver gets chewed up in fees. The amount of fees that you're paying in KiwiSaver is phenomenal. So check all of that stuff out. Start to plan your future because without knowing what it is that you're going to, you've got to have some clarity around what you're doing guys. If you don't have any clarity, you just go round and round in circles, round and round in circles on a treadmill getting nowhere. And that's where most people are today. And look, I'm not a guru by any stretch of the imagination, but I do these videos because I, I just believe that there's so many people out there lost with no direction and just the, the old school way of going to school, getting a good education, going getting a job, working real hard for 45 or 50 years just doesn't cut it anymore. You're going to get to retirement and you're going to have no money in the bank. You'll have a little bit of money there, but you'll deplete it in the in the, in the probably the first 10, 20 years in retirement. You know, there's a book out now uh, called The 100 Year Life. And uh, that's a scary thought, isn't it? But saying with you look at all the, the, the technology and all the stuff that's happened with health over the years, People are going to be living more and more to that sort of level of age, of that 100 years of age. And, you know, so if you're retiring at, say, 67, 70 years of age, you've still got another 30 years uh, in retirement until you're 100. So where are you going to get the money from? We need to plan for this, ladies and gentlemen. We need to plan for it. It's starting to get put in the media now already. It's starting to become more, society's starting to become more and more aware of it. So what's going to change? If you want to know a way or if you want to find a way to actually generate another income or actually create some options in the way of creating financial independence, send me a personal message. We can have a chat. But start to have a think about what, what you know, what, where am I going? What is my, what, you know, what can I do to help me and my family move forward financially? Because as I said, as the government goes more and more into debt, they keep going back and back and back. All of those benefits and all of that stuff that we have today in our world is eventually, in, in New Zealand is eventually going to go. We're going to be like other parts of the world where benefits or um, subsidies and all that stuff's going to go, and we're going to be on our own. So we need to start thinking about our financial future now. So I hope that helps in some way or form. I just, as I say, I watched the video um, about it in Australia. And I think it's just very, very disturbing. And it's I already knew this was happening, but now the media is starting to talk about it. So if, if nothing changes, nothing changes, ladies and gentlemen. So we need to get out there and we may, need to make stuff hap, uh, happen for, for not only ourselves, but for our future family. We need to leave a legacy. And, and first and foremost, we need to make a difference. So have an absolute cracker. Enjoy your weekend. Keep safe. Don't drink too much. And we'll see you all at the top. Cheers.